Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, the other day I did a uh, pack rat type video, you know, showing all the junk that I've got here, there, and everywhere. And I said something about, you know, it gets me thinking. Um, well, this is just one of those examples. I was sitting in there today uh, watching TV and doing little, little doodles here and there, and uh, I happened to look over and I spotted. Let's see if I got you in here in frame. Yeah. I spotted this can that I had saved. And I got an idea for it. So, I'm going to strip it, strip the label off as much as possible. I ain't really going to worry a whole lot about it. And you can see, the, see what's here in front of y'all. I think you might have an idea what I'm going to do. Anyway, I'm going to take pop some holes. Like that. And then I've got some of this fajita blend I buy it comes in a big bag if you see my other videos you, you've seen it I buy it at Walmart it's just a big bag of uh, you know, different colored peppers and some onions I'm gonna put that down in there like so now this is just a meat patty when I buy when I buy a hamburger in bulk I kind of make myself up a patty. I don't know how big that is. It, it weighs about that much. So we're just going to try and fit that down in there like that. Get it all, all in there nice. Kind of squish it down so it soaks up on top of those peppers and onions and whatnot. Put me a dimple in the middle. There we go. I just turned on my my uh, toaster oven. I think it's a I think it's a convection oven as well. I'm not real sure, but I'm gonna fill that little well up with some steak sauce. Maybe right, there we go. Now I have this little tray that fits in my toaster oven and to help it help the grease and whatnot drain out I'm going to set it on a couple of knives now I've never tried this before I'll be the first to admit I have no idea if it's going to work it should work right I mean I'm just going to bake this in an oven I got it set on 350 I'm going to bake it in a metal pan. So, I'm going to leave it in there probably probably a half hour, 45 minutes. I'm hoping it's going to shrink down so I can actually get it out of there. Otherwise, it's going to come out and be a mess. But, um, anyway, that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to stick this over there in the, in the, in the oven. And I'll bring you all back when I have something else to show you. I decided to do a uh, do a side dish. Uh, I got a pan sitting over here with some bacon ambrosia. Um, for those of you who don't know what bacon ambrosia is, it's the drippings after you cook bacon. I'm going to need to get some of that. Cook some bacon because I'm almost out. Uh, these are the, this is the 
fajita blend that I mentioned earlier. I uh, started doing this segment and then I got a phone call, so I just decided I'm gonna redo it. I ran I ran these under under some water just so I don't have a whole lot of water in my in my dish. It's gonna be bad enough with these potatoes once they once they thaw, even though I'm cooking them in, in a little bit of oil. Just a little bit of oil, not a whole lot. I'll get you over here into the pan. See, it's not really a whole lot. Well, let's see if we can hear them sizzle. Now, them potatoes are kind of Kind of chintzy, ain't they? I don't know where I got these. Probably Dollar Tree, TJ Farms. I don't rightly know. Anyway, I'm going to let them brown up a little bit. And then I'll throw in the peppers and onions. And, uh, you know, you don't need to sit here and watch them cook. So... You'll see them on the final dish. Alrighty. Let's see if this is going to work. I already know part of it didn't work because it's full of grease. But it came out in one part. It's a little warm. got that Oof. here I have a quick pickled tomato that I did on a video a while back they've been sitting in here for a while now so they should be nicely pickled That'll bake a nice little side. Mm, I like that fork a little better. It's a little bigger. Notice because it's got the vinegar and the tomatoes and whatnot in it, I put parchment on before I did the aluminum foil. I don't know if it really helps or not, but seems to now here's the potatoes I made it's real hard to get much of a browning in a Teflon pan but I'm gonna take that part that's got the cheese whoops the fork out of the way take that part and put it right there I might use that up later. So, there we go. Now, I'm guessing you're all wanting to know how, what that hamburger looks like on the inside, right? Well, I usually like my meat pretty rare, but I would say that's cooked all the way through. It's probably a at least a medium. Because it cooked a lot in its own juices. I, maybe if I hadn't put the peppers down on the bottom, the juices would have drained out more. Because they're sure draining out now. Mmm. Sure tastes good though. Mm mm mm. So there you go, folks. Hamburger in a can.
I hope that last segment recorded. The camera just went ding 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 and shut off. I ain't sure I like this stupid thing. Um. Anyway, the, the hamburger it didn't drain real well, but it's it's it cooked. It's about medium rare. I added some pickled tomatoes that I made earlier in an earlier video, and my potatoes. Um, like I said, I hope it recorded. If it did, I'll probably cut this little segment out. But uh, where y'all at? There you are. Uh, thank y'all for stopping in. I really appreciate y'all, each and every one of you. I think I was up to 98 subscribers. Uh, that, uh, I don't know what to say. If you like this type of video, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave me a comment. I try to reply to all comments. So I'll see y'all next time, people. Bye-bye.